Thanks for watching Henry AI Labs. This video is gonna explore a really exciting new technology for doing machine learning feature engineering on tabular data sets called Rapids. This video is gonna be powered by the Data Science PC built by Digital Storm. We have two Titan RTX GPUs, each with 24 gigabytes of memory. We're going to be putting the uh, NFL Datable uh, Challenge data set from Kaggle onto these GPUs, and we're gonna do feature engineering using the CUDF and DAS CUDF libraries from Rapids and comparing this with the performance on Pandas. Rapids is an extremely exciting uh, software library built by researchers at NVIDIA. What this is doing is it's scaling traditional machine learning and data science workflows on tabular data sets onto the GPUs. So you can go to their documentation page and uh, come to this notebook where they have a collab environment to get you started with using uh, tabular data on the GPUs, particularly looking at the CUDF and the CUML. So one of the really cool things about Rapids is that the API for using it is exactly similar to the Pandas scikit-learn type of workflow. So the CUDF uh, analogous to Pandas we're going to be exploring in this video. So I also recommend going through this documentation, 10 minutes to CUDF and Dask CUDF. Uh, CUDF, uh, compared to Dask CUDF, Dask is more uh, you know, distributing it across multiple GPUs, which in this video we're going to be using the Data Science PC. So we're going to be distributing this to two GPUs, each with 24 gigabytes of memory. So I also recommend reading this article by Nick Becker, uh, 10 minutes to CUDF and DAS CUDF. In this video, we'll look at the speed ups that we can get by using Rapids for feature engineering or ETL on the Kaggle NFL Big Data Bowl Challenge. So what this competition is, is it's you have this data set describing a given football play, a rushing play, and then you're predicting how many yards are gonna be gained on the play. So this notebook from uh, CPMP has a great visualization of this. Uh, you have these features that are describing different characteristics of the field, like the defensive player's orientation, the starting yard line, uh, the score difference, who, the, the teams, the unique identifiers of the rushers, and miscellaneous things like that. So we're going to take this data set, uh, which is best described in this notebook from Jeff Astor. We have all these different features uh, describing the play. You know, we have things like the orientation of the player, uh, things that are probably useless, like the jersey number of the player. Uh, then we have things like uh, the yard line of scrimmage, which is probably you know a good feature to have. Uh, the distance, the yards that you need for a first down, and all of these other features. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be engineering these features, uh, you know, either morphing them to do things such as taking the player height and the player weight and smashing them together to make a BMI feature, or doing things like uh, taking the home score versus the visitor score and making a margin feature and these kinds of things. So quickly, I wanted to credit some of the. Uh, Kaggle notebook authors who's, uh, who have presented some of these features that we're going to be exploring in this notebook. So this notebook from uh, Bruno Mello presents the BMI and how to do that. Uh, this notebook from uh, Jeff Astor shows you how to clean the height feature. And uh, this notebook from CPMP has this uh, really interesting feature he engineered of uh, defenders in the box, sort of like the orientation of the defense, you know, how they've set up their defensive structure compared to the distance to the first uh, down yard. So now we're in our notebook where we're gonna be looking at Rapids compared to Pandas for feature engineering. So this notebook is gonna be linked in a GitHub repository in the description if you wanna check it out. So first we're gonna import Pandas and read the CSV, which is the NFL Data Bowl Kaggle Competition data set. Then we're gonna select some features to uh, use for the purpose of just showing off the feature engineering capabilities and then we're going to clean the height feature in pandas. So what we do is we just parse through the height, split it, the string, and convert it into the uh, inches only rather than having like 6-8 or you know some, something like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply out the data set in order to really show off uh, CUDF and rapid. So the original uh, NFL data bowl from Kaggle has about 500,000 entries in it. But Rapids isn't, isn't really for that kind of data. It's really for enormous volumes of data. So what we're going to be testing in this case is we're going to multiply it 16x so it has uh, about 8 million entries because this is going to be a better... Uh, this is going to tell you more about how feature engineering with Rapids is so much better than Pandas. And just to highlight this kind of Rapids isn't built for small data sets. It's, you know, big data accelerated on GPU. So uh, the first thing we're going to do with this data is we're going to import CUDF and then we're going to load the pandas data frame into the CUDF data frame object. So already we're seeing that it has the same from pandas syntax and same thing with Dask. But Dask, they recommend that you read it from the C, uh, CSV directly rather than going through pandas CUDF to uh, Dask CUDF. So the first thing we're going to notice is how much faster uh, uh, CUDF is able to compute the mean of the player height column compared to pandas. So we see an average of 29 milliseconds for pandas compared to about 500 microseconds for player height. So already we're seeing an enormous about 60x speed up between pandas versus CUDF. 
and Dask. We also see a speed up versus Pandas, but again, throughout the rest of this uh, notebook, we're not really going to be comparing uh, Dask with CUDF and Pandas because Dask is really for like absolutely enormous data sets. So you're not going to see the speed up quite yet. So something interesting that we do with uh, tabular data sets is we construct new features based on what we have already. So taking this feature that we just derived from the uh, public Kaggle notebooks, I think this one was from uh, the user CPMP, we're going to look at uh, constructing a new feature which is defenders in the box compared to the distance that we gain. And now we're going to look at the speed up we achieve, roughly 12x in this case, by using the CUDF uh, rapids uh, data frame compared to pandas. So now looking at BMI, we see 15.7 milliseconds compared to uh, 64.3. And then some features like margin, such as like, uh, you know, what the score difference is between the home and, you know, between the two teams. And we see a 10x speed up in constructing this feature by just subtracting this column from this column. And then uh, another feature, urgency, you know, something that I arbitrarily came up with, this idea of uh, multiplying the margin, which is this score difference times the quarter, maybe like if it's fourth quarter, it's you're more urgent and you need to run more or something like that. So now another really interesting thing we're going to look at is how long it takes to normalize each column. So one classic way of normalizing features to make uh, different values of each, you know, uh, for normalizing it, keeping it between the scale of zero to one, just makes the vectors better for machine learning models, neural networks, this kind of thing. So what we're doing is we're looping through each column in the data frame and we're going to divide it by the max value in that column. So we're already seeing a 10x speed up with, uh, with uh, rapids compared to pandas. So we could imagine these, all of these speed ups that we've seen so far are on the scale of about 8 million rows, but we are uh, 8 million, yeah, rows, sorry. So we would imagine scaling this up to absolutely enormous data sets in the case in which having this kind of uh, speed up in our feature engineering ETL can really mean that we can do all sorts of new things with data. So a lot of data sets are structured in this tabular way. You know, electronic health records, there's a lot of bioinformatics data looks like this, insurance data, all sorts of data is naturally in this tabular row, uh, tabular uh, row format. So it's really, really interesting to see the speed ups achieved with rapids and just exciting to think about the possibilities with this kind of technology. Thanks for watching this introduction to rapids for feature engineering on the NFL data bowl. Hopefully this uh, example of the NFL data bowl just uh, is good for providing some kind of examples for the feature engineering, things like BMI, uh, margin, and these kinds of, just to give an example of what we're kind of talking about with ETL feature engineering. You know, normalizing the rows is probably more common workflow, but I just thought going through this Kaggle example of the NFL data bowl and, you know, exploring some of these features that people have come up with, with rapids and with the CUDF compared to pandas might be an interesting thing. But generally when we're talking about rapids and these speed ups, we're really looking at absolutely enormous data sets. So that's why we stacked together the same data set eight times to increase it from uh, 500,000 or 16 times from 500,000 up to 8 million uh, rows. So Rapid's a really exciting technology. I'm really excited to keep learning more about it. Definitely really uh, interested to hear what people think about this. Uh, probably one of the most exciting emerging technologies, this idea of really expanding what we're able to do with these tabular data sets. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to Henry AI Labs for more deep learning and AI videos.